Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking about an upcoming warm-up that is finally going to spell the end of this very cold air that has been in place. For today's comment of the day, I want to know, how would you rank this spring that we just had? Did you like it a lot, or did you not like it so much? Let me know why, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into this video, and first things first, we're taking a look at yesterday's storm reports. We had two tornadoes, unfortunately. We had 33 wind reports, and then 37 hail reports. So it was a pretty big, severe weather day yesterday. I've just been highlighting this every single video whenever we have a severe weather event the day before. So I just wanted to show this uh, to you guys. Here's how the last five days have gone. Look at that. Very, very cold air up there for the upper Midwest, the Ohio Valley. Of course, we were calling for this. This was no surprise. We called for that Arctic blast, and sure enough, uh, we had air that was 10 to 12 to even more degrees below normal on a five-day period, which is obviously a very significant departure from normal for such a long time period. Uh, very, very interesting weather we had over the past five days, and you can see that positive PNA out there to the southwest, especially California, Nevada. Uh, even some areas in the four corner states were quite warm as well. Uh, Florida is the only one that really hung on to that warmth a lot. We do still have quite a few days ahead of some colder air, so it is not all said and done quite yet. Uh, so let's just take a look at first off today. And as you can see, there is a bit of a southeast ridge building in for Virginia southward. You take that all the way south to Florida, uh, and there is some warmer than normal conditions around very slightly, but still it is around. Uh, but we do see those very, very cold temperatures for Montana, and you take that down all the way southward through Texas and then all the way northeastward through Pennsylvania and New York where they were having snow yesterday. Uh, let us know in the comments if you were having snow yesterday anywhere. Uh, that'd be, I'd be very interested to hear about that, but that is what I heard is that in northern Pennsylvania there was snowfall occurring, even a dusting to maybe more uh, accumulation. So very interesting circumstances that were happening. Uh, let's just take this towards about... This is going to be the days one through five time frame. So this is going to be Monday through Saturday. And as you can see, overall, the next five days are going to be colder than normal conditions for the eastern two-thirds of the country. You can see that positive PNA. You can really see it on this frame. California, Oregon, Washington, Nevada. You could just see those warmer than normal conditions visibly. Very, very obvious that we have a positive PNA in place. Now, those below normal temperatures... We see them widespread for the central and then in through the Ohio Valley, United States, those regions, uh, especially in those greens. That is where we're dealing with 10 to 15 degrees below normal temperatures. So not only is the cold air going to continue, it actually looks like it's going to get more potent as it ends here over the next five days. Uh, it'll likely be more potent than it was for the previous five days. Obviously, today is a little bit of a warm up for the East Coast, like I said, but it is going to cool back down for sure. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at a few more individual days in just a moment. Now first off, here is May 13th and that is going to land on a Thursday. And as you can see, those very cold temperatures move a little bit further south uh, from what we saw there on, well, today, Monday. Uh, so they are just going to generally move further south and further east. That positive PNA is very obvious out there in the west, like I said. That is the cause. That is the driver behind all of this cold air that is in the area and just around in general. So that is what is to blame for this very cold air that has been around. By the time we reach Friday, May 14th, you can see that this becomes a little less potent. That positive PNA has changed a little bit, and I want to really uh, focus on that because it isn't around the West Coast. It's actually moving a tiny bit further east, and that usually does generally spell an end to these positive PNA patterns that we get in. So as this moves further eastward and away from the west coast, that is actually a sign that the warm air will eventually uh, return east. Uh, now we do see a lot of that cold air still around for Texas, areas like Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Ohio Valley, the Gulf states, the southeast. And generally the further north you go, the less potent it becomes. Uh, even near normal conditions around for Minnesota, Wisconsin, uh, New England, they're all near normal, not really that far below normal. Now, by the time we're reaching Saturday, May 15th, you can see this is becoming a lot less potent. Again, we see darker greens only, which is indicating maybe around 10 degrees below normal uh, about that for those darker green regions. The darker blue is going to be about 7 degrees below normal. Uh, so we are seeing some uh, generally, uh, I would say, pretty far below normal temperatures, but not like uh, impressively far below normal. It's not like shockingly, uh, <laughs> it's not shocking at all. Now, as we see for the West Coast, again, 
some colder air returning for the west, the immediate west coast. And as you can see, that warmer air, the positive PNA has moved even further, further east. Uh, we can't even call that a PNA at that point because that isn't even the PNA region at this point. It's just a warm air blob that is set up for Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, areas like that. And that is generally moving further and further east, which is again spelling an end to that positive PNA, and we're probably heading into a negative PNA already by that point. Now, what we're going to do here in a moment is we're going to move on, and we're going to take a look at Sunday, and that is going to be May 16th, and we're just going to move on from that point. So here's Sunday, and as you can see, that potency is just down again. We can see that there's only blues, not even greens anymore, for the eastern United States and that warm-up is moving further east. It's now located over the plains and the Rockies mostly, but the west coast is not the center of that warm-up. By the time we reach Monday, May 17th, look at that. That warm-up has now entered into the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley, and the plains. The west coast is kind of 50-50. It's kind of all over the place, but generally the warmer air is in the, east the eastern half of the country by this point. We do see that cool down for the southeast still, but that will generally come to an end. Uh, it's very, very slight by that point anyway, uh, but it will eventually come to an end. These patterns take a while to fully set in, so be patient with it. But by the time we're reaching the 20th, it should be fully uh, in, in, engaged here in the eastern United States. Now, by the time we're taking a look at about Tuesday, and that's going to be May 18th, look at the west. It's so it's so cold now, the, the northwest especially. We're seeing those far below normal temperature, temperatures just move in. Uh, we're seeing those warmer than normal conditions for the Plains, the Upper Midwest, the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes, and the Northeast by this point. So it is beginning to set in further and further and further for these regions. The Southeast is still holding on to a little bit of some colder air, which is pretty interesting, obviously. Uh, but again, that should be all said and done over the coming days after this point that we're taking a look at here. It should come to an end uh, generally. So let's just go ahead and take this towards about Wednesday, May 19th. And as you can see, it has moved a little bit further south and a little bit further eastward. That cool down in the southeast is coming to an end. Look at the west. Look at how far below normal temperatures we have out there. Um, and it's just becoming more and more widespread. That is a, a negative PNA, a very obvious one there, uh, which causes warmer than normal conditions in the eastern half of the country, which you can see all of those things taking place here. Isn't it beautiful when it just all works out like that? Um, so we see that warm up building even further in the eastern half of the country. Now, when we look at this on a five-day period, the 20th through the 25th, that's going to be the point after this, you can see that we have just generally warmer than normal conditions for the northeastern half of the country, or a quarter of the country, that is, uh, but mostly the eastern half of the country there, for the most part, is mostly warmer than normal. The Gulf states in the southeast are near normal, but most areas further north are above normal temperatures, actually quite significantly above normal temperatures at that. Now, let's take a look at the National Weather Service's their 6 to 10 day outlook and then their 8 to 14 day outlook. So first things first, the 6 to 10 day outlook. And as you can see, warmer than normal conditions already by time are reaching Saturday through Wednesday. We'll have reached kind of the middle of the United States. We still see that colder air for the southeast. But we also see some colder air moving into the western coast there of the United States. I wanted to show this just to show that they're in full agreement with what I've been saying in this video. And then by the time we reach the 8 to 14 day outlook, you can see that negative PNA builds in. Look at the west coast there. You see the colder than normal conditions. That forces all the warm air to go to the eastern half of the country there, as you can see in those oranges. So this, uh, the, the Climate Prediction Center here from the National Weather Service is in agreement there with what I was showing, the European model was showing, as far as the upcoming temperature pattern. I just wanted to show that, obviously, because some people want to see that kind of verification from a larger source, obviously. Now, for today's... Uh, confidence tab, we're at a 3 out of 6 actually. And the reason for this is because we're talking about a change that is looking to occur about 10 or 7 to 10 days from now, uh, which is going to obviously decrease that confidence quite a bit. Uh, so we we generally have a little bit of some lower confidence because of that fact there. Hopefully that's understandable to all of you. And now for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys, if it had to be one season for the rest of your life, what would you choose? And Chris Coleman said, I love fall. It is not cold or hot, just right. I'm guessing that is the month, you, or sorry, the, the season you would choose based on what you said there. I agree, fall is very beautiful though. Anyway, for today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, John Ben Benick, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Larry the Pan, and Donna Carnes, alongside our diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Cat Bite, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Flago, Garys, John Qualisi, and Dwight Phelan. 
If you'd like to be a part of this awesome patron highlight of the day, you can do so by joining our very awesome Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I would also like to quickly thank our channel members, our Weather Top Dogs, Hair Farm 1, and Cat Bite as well. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. You can click that button next to the subscribe button down below to join this. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button. Be sure to leave a comment down below to help the YouTube algorithm out. And be sure to subscribe if you like weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.